Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I have the update for hashtag beauty chest. Everything you need to know is linked down below as well as the creator, Jessica, who I highly suggest you should check out. I have been doing this project for more than a year now. We're at round two. Every round, well, not every round, but when you start you roll four prompts and those prompts can correspond to products that you can do usage goals on or hitting pan or finishing whatever you want to do you can roll the prompts multiple times even in the same round so it's always exciting uh, i have had a rough start with this project Pro the projects gave me so many prompts that had multiple products per prompt so i was a little bit overwhelmed Last update was nicer <laughs> to me, so I'm in a good spot right now. I have some rollouts, I have some products staying in, so let's go check out my prompts and my products. So the product that has been in the longest is for the Prompt Indie, something unique to my collection. And I rolled in this Micah Beauty Shop Water Activated Liner in this orange shade. I wanted to use this five times. I so far have used it once. Uh, last update I didn't use it at all. This month I have used it. The look was in a video. Uh, that video is coming up. It is a video about palettes that I've bought. Is that video coming up? Or has that been uploaded? Okay, no, it is. it was the last video that was uploaded to my channel. Uh, it was palettes that I bought because of the packaging and I wore this uh, eyeliner in that look. It was King's Day here in the Netherlands. Our color is orange so it was a good opportunity to use this but that has been the only time that I've used it so far. So I don't know it's a difficult one to use on a daily basis but I'm gonna keep it in. For use it's should be doable. I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but that's fine. Then the next prompt was makeup fund smallest category and I rolled in a pressed powder and this is a pressed powder from Revolution. Not my favorite. I don't really use pressed powders for my face because I don't wear any face makeup except for some blush and highlighter, but that's it. Uh, so I've used this to set my eyeshadow primer. My goal was 10 uses. I'm currently at 8, which is weird because I had calculated that if I use it every day until I was going to film this, I would be at 10. But whatever, two more uses to go. I am going to roll this out of this project. I am going to roll it out and replace it with a new prompt because keeping it in for two more uses, that's two days of using it like tomorrow and the day after I will use it and it'll be done so it would feel stupid to keep this in for another month so I am gonna roll a new prompt and I'm still gonna use this two times then I rolled the deep prompt indie again so again something unique to your collection and I rolled in my palette of Micah Beauty Shop single eyeshadows these babies are stunning. I really like them. I have been using them for special occasions only but since rolling them into this project I've just been using them for my everyday looks and you know what? They're perfect for that. Yes they're very sparkly, yes they're very um what's that called? Shifty? like multicolored, but I'm so happy when I put these babies on my eyes. So I was gonna do no pan left behind on this. The only two that I still have got to use is this green one, which is called Renaissance. And the pink one, that one is blush. Yeah, that one's blush. So this is blush. And this is Renaissance. 
those are the only two that I still have to use. No, I'm gonna keep this in even though it's two shadows remaining, but I loved having this palette out on my desk to use. I am wearing some shadows today. Today I'm wearing this shadow, which is called Mosaic on my outer corner. Then I have a little bit of Galaxy Oasis, is that correct? Is that what I'm wearing? Yeah, Galaxy Oasis in the middle. Uh, this is Galaxy Oasis. And then I've topped that with just a dream in the inner corner. So um, this is the look, very flattering angle if I do say so myself. <laughs> So I have mosaic on the outer part. I put a little bit of, I forgot what it was called again. What are you called? Galaxy Oasis on the middle. And then the inner corner is just a dream, which is a stunning shadow. I don't know if you can see that flip. It is so beautiful. They're stunning. I highly recommend them. I will link the um, shop down below. It is based in Europe, so for anyone that is in Europe watching my videos, that's great. And I will also put a code for 10% off in my de description box, which is not affiliated or anything, but she does have good discounts most of the time, so I will just share them with you because I've used those myself and I'm always happy to get something off it's always nice. So um, that's this palette. Two more to go. I've been loving every second of it. So that's good. And then for the last prompt, new palette release, add any palette. I've added a palette that I don't love and that is my Lethal Cosmetics 1UP palette. I wanted to do no palette behind on this. I did that. I don't want to say I hated it, but I did not like it what looks this gave me. These shadows, they do look a little bit similar to the Mica Beauty Shop ones, as in there's stunning shifts in these shadows, but the payoff is so bad. Like these shimmers right here, if I put those on my eyes, it's just, there's barely anything. Like this is what I pick up. Why did I <laughs> skip the middle? finger. I don't know why I did that. But this is what I pick up from those shadows. That's, look at that. That's nothing. That's stupid. So I don't like this palette. I don't think I will ever like this palette. I love the packaging. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just get rid of those shadows and press other shadows into the square pans to be able to still use the packaging but have actual shadows in there that I love to use instead of these. But that's something for the future. For this project, I did complete no pan left behind on this palette, so it is rolling out, thankfully. So I have two prompts to roll in, which is nice. So, ooh, that's very reflective. Let's see the two prompts that I'm gonna get. First one is birthday gift, pull in a mini. And the next one is gonna be unboxing, already has pan. That's a difficult one, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna check my collection and I will be right back. All right, this this one was hard and it might be a little bit of a stretch, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So for both prompts, birthday gift, pull in a mini, and something that already has Pam, I am gonna roll in my Viseart um, eyeshadow palette. This is the peach version. This is what that looks like. So it is definitely a mini palette and I have two shadows that already have pan so what I want to do 
This might be hard, but that's fine. I want to try and hit pan in the two remaining shades of this palette and then use these two shadows at least five times each. So that way I am working on two shadows that already have pan, get a little bit more use out of those. And I also have a prompt for a product for a mini. Now hitting pan on these two shadows, I mean it might be it might take me a while. But they're fun shadows. I love orange. And with these four shadows, it's very easy to do a look. Like set my primer, crease, outer corner, lid. That's, it's super easy. I think I will be able to hip hand in the remaining two shadows eventually. We shall see. Probably. It will take me longer than five uses, so the um, shadows that are rolled in for something that already has pan, that prompt will probably be done quicker than the prompt for the mini, but I'm fine with that. It's okay. I have some prompts left that are relatively easy to finish, and I hopefully can pair my liner with these shadows and get my four uses out of this too. And then that is it for this update. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will hopefully see you in one of my next videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.